Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly senior library tech, Miss Tiffany, at your MWR Community Library. Today, I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you all. So let's begin. All right, friends, this is one of my brand new stories that we just added to our collection. There's a little bit of a glare. And it's called Let's Play Monsters by Lucy Cousins. Here we go. My name is Gabriel, and I am three. I like to play with monsters, but they can't catch me. Come on, Josie. I want to play. You chase me, and I'll run away. You be a green monster who is green and scary, with sharp pointy teeth and feet that are hairy. Munch, crunch, scrunch. I'll eat you for my lunch. <laughs> but you can't catch me. Come on, Uncle Rufus. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster who's very, very big. With horns like a cow and a tail like a pig. Oink, oink, moo. I'm chasing you. <laughs> but you can't catch me. Come on, kitty cat. I want to play. You chase me, and I'll run away. You be a monster with long, sharp claws, all scritchy and scratchy, on your big yellow paws. Hiss, hiss, roar. I'll chase you out the door. <laughs> you can't catch me. Come on, Nana. I want to play. You chase me and I'll run away. You be a monster made of bright pink jelly with big round eyes and feet that are smelly. Slop, slap, slop. I'll gobble you up. Hee hee hee. But you can't catch me. Come on, flower. I want to play. You chase me, and I'll run away. You be a monster with a big yellow nose and long green arms and muddy brown toes. Fee, fo, fum. I'll tickle your tum. Hee, 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 but you can't catch me. Come on, Mommy. I want to play. You chase me, and I'll run away. You be a monster with spikes on your back who eats little boys with your teeth that are black. Gobble, gobble, gulp. I'll eat you up. Hee, hee, hee. But you can't catch me. Oh, yes, I can. I'll gobble your toes, and I'll nibble your nose. Now, you be a monster with a funny green head who is tired and sleepy and ready for bed. Monster kisses. One, two, three. I love you, and you love me. The... And what a great story. Let's play monsters. I love that story. Okay, let's read my next book. And this is called My Friend Isabel. Here we go. My name is Charlie. This is my friend Isabel. Even though we're the same age, we are different. I am tall. Isabella short. I run fast. Isabel takes her time. I carry around a black and white kitty and Isabel carries around a doll named Meg. I know a lot of words. Isabel's words are sometimes hard for me to understand. Mommy says the differences are what makes the world so great. Every Friday, Isabel and I play together. 
we dance with Stevie Wonder. Isabel teaches me how to twirl. We pretend to go shopping for grapes at the store. We cry when one of us forgets to share. We drink apple juice and eat Cheerios at the little red table and chairs. Cheers! We bring our sippy cups together and say, Cheers! Kitty and Maggie says, Cheers too! We go down the big slide at the park. We both like to do it ourselves. We hold hands. Isabel has soft hands. Mommy is right. Life is more fun with friends like Isabel. The end. What a great story. Okay, so let's read my next book. And this is Ivan, and this is a gorilla's true story. Here we go. Have you, my friends out there, have you heard of Ivan before? Here we go. In leafy calm, in gentle arms, a gorilla's life begins. Began. The baby was born in a tropical forest in Central Africa. He was part of a large family of Western lowland gorillas. The troop included babies, juveniles, females, and a male leader, the silverback. The more the baby gorilla grew, the more he played. The more he played, the more he learned. He rode on his mother's back. He listened to the hoots and grunts and chest beats of his father. He watched the older gorillas, clever and quick, as they wrestled and chased and swung from vines. He did not learn about humans until it was too late. Poachers with loud guns and cruel hands stole the little gorilla and another baby. After thousands of miles and endless days in a black damp crate, at last came light and fresh air. The jungle green with life was gone. The gorillas had traveled halfway around the world to Tacoma, Washington. A man who owned a shopping mall had ordered and paid for them, like a couple of pizzas, like a pair of shoes. People cooed and laughed and held the babies. They dressed them in human clothes and fed them human food. The shopping mall owner ran a Name the Babies contest. The winning names were Burma and Ivan. One dark day, soon after the babies arrived in their strange new world, Burma died. Without her, Ivan was all alone, with too much left to learn. While he was little, Ivan was cute and cuddly. For three years, he lived in a home like a human child. He slept in a bed and went to baseball games. He held babies and rode on a motorcycle. He had to learn many, new, many things gorillas in the wild don't ever need to know. The one thing Ivan didn't need to learn was how to eat. The more he ate, the more he grew. The more he grew, the less he could live a human life in a human house. A cage in the mall became Ivan's new home. There wasn't much to do. Sometimes Ivan watched TV. Sometimes he played with an old tire. Sometimes he finger painted, signing the papers with his thumbprint. Mostly he watched the humans watching him. Ivan was about 13 when his coat began to shimmer with silvery white hairs. He'd grown into a silverback gorilla in the jungle he would have been ready to protect his family, but he had no family to protect. Year after year passed. People began to grow angry about Ivan's lonely life. Children and adults wrote letters and signed petitions and held protests. Ivan lived in his cage without the company of other gorillas for 27 years before he was sent on another journey. This time, 
the hands were gentle. Zoo Atlanta wasn't a jungle, it was a place with walls. Still, the breeze carried jungle sounds and scents. Scientists who understood the need of gorillas helped Ivan adjust slowly, carefully, gently to his new life. Finally, it was time. Was Ivan ready? Cameras clicked. Reporters watched. When Ivan stepped onto the cool green grass, the sunlight gleaming on his silver hair, people cheered and laughed and wept with joy. Ivan, the shopping mall gorilla, was in a place with trees and grass and other gorillas at last. In leafy calm, in gentle arms, a gorilla's life began again. The end. Thank you for sharing this special story time with me, friends. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.